Have you ever questioned your reality? Asking yourself, is this real or am I hallucinating? This is a question that has intrigued philosophers, scientists and spiritual seekers for centuries. Among them, the teachings of Buddha, a profound philosopher and founder of Buddhism, provide intriguing insights into this conundrum. As we venture into the fascinating world of Buddhist philosophy, we find a spiritual tradition that is not only rich in wisdom, but also delves deep into the nature of reality and the phenomena of hallucinations. Imagine a philosophy that embraces the paradoxes of existence, one that explores the intricate dance between the physical and the spiritual, the seen and the unseen, the real and the imagined. This is Buddhism, a philosophy that invites us to question the very nature of our existence, to look beyond the surface of our perceptions and delve into the profound depths of our consciousness. Buddhism teaches us that reality is not always what it seems. It invites us to understand that our perceptions are often clouded by our desires, fears and preconceived notions. It encourages us to strip away these veils of illusion and see the world as it truly is. A complex interplay of cause and effect, a web of interconnected phenomena that are constantly changing and evolving. But what about hallucinations? Are they merely figments of our imagination? Or do they hold a deeper significance? Buddhism offers a unique perspective, viewing hallucinations not as false perceptions, but as manifestations of our deep-seated tendencies and illusions. In the next few minutes, we will explore the Buddhist teachings on the nature of reality and hallucinations. We will navigate the philosophical waters of Buddhism, delve into its ancient texts, and uncover the wisdom it has to offer. So, sit back, relax, and prepare to embark on a journey into the depths of Buddhist philosophy. A journey that will challenge your perceptions, stimulate your mind, and perhaps even transform your understanding of reality. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel before we dive deeper into the Buddhist concept of reality. Your support helps us create more content like this. If you're enjoying this video and want to see more of such enlightening content, we encourage you to consider supporting our YouTube channel. By joining our community, you're not only fostering our work, but you're also embarking on a journey of discovery to explore profound philosophical concepts and to challenge your perceptions. So, if you're prepared for this intellectual adventure, make sure you've hit that subscribe button and have turned on notifications so you won't miss any of our future videos. With your support, we can continue our journey into the depths of Buddhist philosophy. A Buddhism has a unique perspective on reality. It's not as straightforward as you might think. In the Buddhist worldview, our perception of reality is often distorted by our desires, fears and ignorance. What we perceive as reality is a mere reflection of our mind's interpretations, influenced by our past experiences and preconceived notions. In the Buddhist context, reality transcends the physical world we see, touch, hear, smell and taste. It goes beyond the materiality into the realm of the spiritual where everything is interconnected. So, in essence, the Buddhist concept of reality is a complex matrix of physical and spiritual phenomena constantly interacting, changing and evolving. One of the fundamental teachings of Buddhism that encapsulates this concept is in the Heart Sutra where it says, form is empty, emptiness is form. Now this might sound paradoxical, but it's a profound philosophical statement that challenges our conventional understanding of reality. When it says form is empty, it means that the things we consider solid, tangible and real are in essence devoid of inherent existence. They don't exist independently, Rather, they are dependent on other factors for their existence. On the other hand, when it says emptiness is form, it implies that this emptiness is not a void or nothingness. Instead, it's a realm of potentiality, where everything is interconnected and every phenomenon is possible. It's a space where the transformation of one thing into another takes place, just like a seed transforming into a tree or a caterpillar into a butterfly. So in Buddhism, reality is not just what we can see or touch. It's far more profound and interconnected. It's a dynamic process of interdependent origination, where everything is linked and everything affects everything else. It's a reality where the observer and the observed are not separate, but part of the same holistic reality. This nuanced understanding of reality challenges us to look beyond the surface, 
to see the deeper truth of existence and to recognize the interconnectedness and interdependence of all phenomena. It's a perspective that can transform the way we perceive the world and our place in it. What happens when our senses deceive us? How does Buddhism perceive such experiences? These questions invite us to delve into the intriguing world of hallucinations from a Buddhist perspective. In Buddhism, hallucinations aren't simply dismissed as figments of our imagination. Instead, they're seen as manifestations of our mind's deep-seated tendencies and illusions. They're not necessarily false, but rather they are distortions of our own perceptions. The Buddhist texts provide a rich tapestry of teachings and anecdotes that illuminate this concept. For instance, within the Pali Canon, one of the oldest Buddhist texts, we find the Buddha himself sharing insights on hallucinations. In one particular instance, he speaks of a monk who, during meditation, sees a terrifying vision of a snake. The Buddha explains to the monk that what he saw was not a snake, but rather a manifestation of his own fear. In another tale, a disciple experiences a blissful vision of celestial realms during deep meditation. Once again, the Buddha guides the disciple, explaining that the vision is a reflection of his own mind, shaped by his deep desire for peace and tranquility. These stories underscore the Buddhist view that hallucinations are not inherently good or bad. They are simply experiences shaped by our own minds and the tendencies within us. The Buddha's teachings encourage us to examine these experiences, not with fear or attachment, but with mindfulness and understanding. By doing so, we can learn to recognize the nature of our own minds and the illusions that they create. Hallucinations, therefore, are not simply dismissed in Buddhism, but are seen as manifestations of the mind's deep-seated tendencies and illusions. They serve as a mirror, reflecting our deepest fears, desires and inclinations, in the process, they invite us to delve deeper into our own minds in our journey towards understanding and transcending the illusion of reality. Reality and hallucination, two sides of the same coin. Let's find out what Buddhism says. Buddhism doesn't draw a hard line between reality and hallucination. Instead, it proposes a fascinating concept, the interdependent co-arising of phenomena. This means that our reality, what we perceive as real, and our hallucinations, what we perceive as unreal, are both products of our mind's interaction with the world. They are intertwined, co-arising based on our senses, our thoughts, our emotions, and our experiences. But here's the catch. Just because they co-arise doesn't mean they're the same. To navigate this complex interplay, Buddhism introduces two key practices, mindfulness and awareness. Mindfulness in Buddhism is a conscious and deliberate attention to the present moment. It is being fully engaged with what's happening right here, right now, without judgment. It's like shining a spotlight on your experiences, illuminating what's real in the present moment. On the other hand, awareness, or vipassana, is the insight into the true nature of things. It's like turning on the overhead lights and seeing the whole room, the whole reality, including its impermanence, unsatisfactoriness and emptiness of inherent existence. So, how does this help distinguish reality from hallucination? When we're mindful, we're grounded in the present moment. We're less likely to be swept away by our hallucinations, by our mind's fabrications. We see things as they are, not as we think they are or as we want them to be. When we're aware, we see the bigger picture. We understand that our perceptions, whether they're of the so-called reality or hallucinations, are just that. Perceptions. They're not absolute truth. They're influenced by our senses, by our mental conditioning, by our desires and aversions. In a nutshell, mindfulness helps us stay anchored in reality, while awareness gives us the wisdom to see through our hallucinations. Buddhism teaches us to be mindful and aware, to understand the difference between our perceptions and the true nature of reality. How do modern Buddhist practitioners view hallucinations and reality? In the bustling world of the 21st century, the profound teachings of Buddhism continue to resonate, offering insights into the mysteries of reality and the mind. Contemporary Buddhist scholars and practitioners have their unique perspectives on the age-old wisdom about hallucinations and reality, drawing from the wellspring of ancient texts and teachings. Modern interpretations of Buddhism delve into the complex nature of perception, 
often using the metaphor of a dream. Just as a dream feels real while we're immersed in it, our waking life too is a kind of dream, shaped by our perceptions, thoughts and emotions. Hallucinations in this context are seen as extreme manifestations of the mind's ability to create its own reality. This understanding of hallucinations as mind-made realities is not just theoretical. Many Buddhist practitioners use meditation as a tool to explore and understand the nature of their own minds. In mindfulness meditation, for instance, practitioners are encouraged to observe their thoughts and sensations without judgment or resistance. This practice reveals how our mind constantly interprets and shapes our experiences, often blurring the line between reality and illusion. But what about applying these insights in our everyday lives? How can we navigate the blurry line between the real and the unreal? In the face of such questions, Buddhism offers practical wisdom. The teachings emphasize the importance of mindfulness, of being fully present in each moment. By practicing mindfulness, we can learn to see our experiences more clearly without the distortions of our habitual patterns of thinking and perceiving. Consider, for instance, how we often get lost in our thoughts and worries, so much so that we miss out on the richness of the present moment. By bringing mindful awareness to our experiences, we can ground ourselves in reality, reducing the chances of getting swept away by hallucinations or illusions. Moreover, Buddhism encourages us to cultivate wisdom and compassion, two qualities that can help us navigate the complexities of perception. Wisdom allows us to see things as they are, not as they appear to be. Compassion, on the other hand, helps us to respond to our experiences, including hallucinations with kindness and understanding, rather than fear or aversion. In this way, the ancient wisdom of Buddhism continues to shed light on the enigmatic nature of reality and hallucination. It offers us practical tools and profound insights to navigate our experiences, helping us to live with more clarity, wisdom, and compassion. Modern Buddhism continues to provide us with tools to understand and navigate the complex interplay between reality and hallucination. Let's recap what we've learned about Buddhism's perspective on hallucinations and reality. We embarked on a fascinating exploration of the Buddhist philosophy, unearthing profound insights into the nature of reality and the phenomena of hallucinations. Firstly, we delved into the Buddhist concept of reality. We learned that in Buddhism, reality is more than just the physical world we perceive. It's a complex interplay of physical and spiritual elements where all things are devoid of inherent existence, opening up a realm of potentialities and interconnectedness. Next, we turned our attention to hallucinations within the Buddhist context. Far from being mere illusions, these hallucinations are regarded as manifestations of our deep-seated tendencies and illusions. We discovered that these experiences are not dismissed, but used as teaching moments to shed light on the elusive nature of perception and reality. Then we navigated the intersection of reality and hallucination. We learned about mindfulness and awareness as tools to distinguish between what is real and what is perceived. Buddhism teaches us that what we perceive as reality might not always be the truth, and what we dismiss as hallucinations could hold profound insights. Finally, we looked at modern interpretations and applications. Contemporary Buddhist practitioners and scholars continue to explore the relationship between hallucinations and reality, applying these ancient teachings to everyday experiences. We found that these insights can be transformative in understanding and navigating the complexities of our perceptions and experiences. As we conclude our journey, let's remember that Buddhism doesn't provide definitive answers but offers us a profound lens to understand and appreciate the complexities of our experiences. It encourages us to question, explore and ultimately realize our own truths. So the next time you find yourself questioning what is real and what isn't, remember the Buddhist perspective. It might just offer you a new way to view your reality. As we navigate our perceptions and reality, Buddhism offers us a profound lens to understand and appreciate the complexities of our experiences.